We have not done a Rutger Hauer movie on So Bad It's Good yet. And we have three copies of a movie oh. called Split Second. Oh my god. And the cover looks amazing. There's a giant venom-like monster. He's got some claws. Yeah. Uh, Michael Toten sent us this, and I don't have a name on either of these, so these could all be Toten, or these could be other people, so thank you to whoever sent them. I'm very pumped. Very cool. Yeah. Rucker Hauer is a legend. Yes, absolutely. I didn't know he did anything, you know, bad. bad. <laughs> I didn't either, but uh, this looks like sci-fi schlock, and I'm right. excited. Let's honor his legacy and watch Split Second. Oh. The oh, movies. The beer. I keep forgetting. I don't even I didn't even yeah, look at what we are drinking. Called. Johnny Utah Pale Ale from Georgetown Brewing in Seattle, Washington. Once again, Mr. Toten, I appreciate your contribution. Appreciate you giving uh, to the Toten Wing some more. Yeah. And I love the name Johnny Utah. All right. Point break. Okay. All right, we're in the um, solid environmentalism. Great. That's the 90s. Yeah. You got to have an environmental disaster. What the hell does that have to do with a monster? Pretty this cool. is super 90s. 80s. Kim Cattrall, no what? shit. Wow, so this is not long after Big Trouble. She was one of the reporters in Big Trouble. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, the boots. Oh, excellent. I would wear those. In the apocalypse or just around town? No. No. Is he some kind of bounty hunter? Did he scratch his balls? Sunglasses in the dark? Mm -hmm. Well, the well-lit hallway. I love the look of all these 80s, 90s sci-fi movies. Yeah. Everyone wears black. End of the world, I'm gonna put on some leather pants. Yep. Well, the flooding is kind of cool. Very cool. Huh. Boy. How long would it take for cars to rust out? Uh, yeah. About two days. <laughs> I like your concern for the cars. That really makes me feel That's really right. what I'm worried about. Yeah. yeah. Throughout the city, those attacked should report to their local rodent center. 2008 still using a map. I mean, in 1992, the idea of even using a map quest was like... Oh, no, my no God. one knew about no. that. You had to spend an hour looking at the map before you left. Yeah. And then write down the directions. Uh-huh. And if you made a wrong turn, you had to pull over. Figure out where you went wrong. I used to go into gas stations and be like, where, where am I? Yeah. What'd I do? Yeah. <laughs> and you sit down with the map and you both like, well, up strip club. Oh, okay. That's a little extra. Girl's got a booty on her. Well fed in the apocalypse. Well, wasn't really a thing in the 90s. You're right. That was the cocaine chic. Oh, yeah. Was, was... Right? Wow. Ugh. He's like, now. That's no. not the whore I'm looking for. I don't like it. I don't like that either. You get coffee? To two drinks minimum. Give me two coffees. <laughs> Give me two mm. coffees. Have a pair of coffee. The stone here. No, 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 me, you were just suspended. Did you get a report yet? He's not giving like the most dynamic performance I've ever seen. He's definitely doing like a straight tough guy. Oh, this movie's awesome. Yeah, it's great. Holy crap! God damn! Whoa. Oh, look at that chest wound! Oh, oh so it's some kind of serial killer. Show me your hands, man. I know you saw him. <laughs> Not much of a detective. I was like, wait a second. I could threaten everyone. Or I could follow the horrific blood trail. Where'd he go? Huh? Don't shoot! No. Talk to me. He just threatens everyone yep. with death. Jesus. Yeah. Is he a cop or not? I can't tell. I thought he was driving the police car. Oh, he's got a badge there. Okay. So is he some kind of government something? Left her, hit the booze, went over the edge. Now he lives on anxiety, coffee, and chocolate. Yeah, he's nuts. Why do you keep him on the force? Mm-hmm. I followed him down an alleyway. He shot a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You say he's the best. I followed him. <laughs> he sucks. Wow. It's like command center. You doing this, Stone? Oh. 
We've seen him in a bunch of stuff. Yes. Alien 3 for sure. The usual suspects. Mm -hmm. He works for um, Kaiser Soze. Yes. He's the lawyer. How are you doing? Answer the question. Everyone points guns in each other's faces. There was very casual guns in the face in the future, apparently. I mean, it's never going to be. You got that? He has an unfortunate hair pattern. Oh, well, no. Maybe lose that little tough, dude. Uh, He's hanging on for dear life. <laughs> He's not letting go. Neurosis to the point of being paranoid. Doctors don't know shit. <laughs> All he does, he's stim, uh, stimulated to the max. Oh, yeah. Coffee and cigars all day. I'm surprised you don't have a grenade launcher. Couldn't get a permit. Oh, that is unfortunate. He's got like a comb over, too. It, yes, his hair is oh, gross. Maybe that's going to be popular in the future year of 2008. I think you're right. I think he's combing from both sides mm -hmm. over. He's like filling in. Yeah. Like he's he's got a full Jean-Luc Picard. It's another crazy with a gun. You're concerned. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a handful of his cigars. <laughs> I mean, so far this is cliche as hell, except for the setting. Yeah, I, this is 80s, 90s cheese. I love it. Yeah. Are you going on a picnic? Wet pal. Having your own booze delivered now? It's gonna be your heart. Yeah. They have security up to the up to the gills here, and they don't have cameras in the far future of 2008. <sighs> don't. It's cold. What? Cold enough to be full of beers? How do you get through the doors? That's what I'm saying. There's only one way in, and it's through like a checkpoint, that long hallway, double doors. Awesome. Oh, is there bite marks? Uh. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah. He took a bite out of it. I mean, if you're gonna steal a heart. You gotta taste it, right? Get forensics on this. I wanna know who delivered it and when. Go to the person guarding the doors coming in and say, what did the person look like who wheeled this in? Yeah, it got wheeled in, they knew that. Why did you let them through? What badge did they show? What ID? No, nope. uh, nobody knows. No, it's total mystery. All you have to do is have it left at the door. And be like, what the hell's this? Yeah, on the front steps. To the cops. Or it Love goes, serial killer. It goes to his apartment. Yeah. Instead, they're like, yeah. no. He somehow got in this secure facility. Well, see, to me, that means that it's someone on the inside. I mean, this, to me, this feels like they have a nice mix of, like, onset <laughs> locations. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. It looks really good. The writing... Not, not mm. good. You can say it's not good. Damn, he's sucking wind. He's <laughs> stopping to light his cigar. You know you're not supposed to inhale the cigars, dude. <gasps> <laughs> it's not a cigarette. You just... <laughs> How do you know it's for you? This is my partner's. So the pol they got something out of the police evidence locker? Oh. Uh, looks like an astrological symbol. It is. How the f*** would you know that? Why? have to be 10 feet tall. What the hell does any of this have to do with a monster? Uh, maybe the monster is 10 feet tall. On the cover, there's a tall thing with claws yeah. that could rip out of the heart, right? But, like, it seems like he's just hunting a serial killer. He's just going to find out it's a monster, monster. I guess? Well, you think you'd see that wandering into the police station. That's a good point. He wheeled, he wheeled the heart out. <laughs> they said he's the best. Yeah. Seems like uh, dunce. He, he hasn't done anything. No. If he was the one who saw the astrological symbol and figured it out, but it was his partner. Yeah, no. All he does is crazy shit. What? What happened back there? Is he brushing his teeth with coffee? Yeah. And a cigar? Questions. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that's disgusting. And <laughs> This dude's my hero. Jeez. Life expectancy, 38. <laughs> yeah, no, that dude's exceeded it already in this movie. We're not working together, and I'm not nuts. Okay? Huh. You just brush your teeth with coffee. <laughs> it sounds... It's pretty nuts. He should not be employed by the police. <laughs> no. no. He should be in a maximum security facility somewhere. Yeah, they should have him, like, not be allowed to carry a gun. Publicly or privately. <laughs> 
getting this some phantasm vibes now. <laughs> this movie's kind of awesome. It's ridiculous. It's super 80s, 90s. When was the last time you got some sleep? Four days ago. <clears throat> no wonder he's acting psychotic. He's working at peak efficiency. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh? Is she wearing some kind of nighty? She came straight from the funeral necropolis area. She's just waiting for him to show up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Is he going tie his shoelaces together? He's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wow. There's literally no mystery we're following, except that, yep, they found two clues, and they're not, like, looking into them. No. We watched them sleep. That was great. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Okay. Well. Huh. How is that thing on the cover just walking around unnoticed? It just sliced open this metal yes. trunk of a car. Oh, those are gross chocolates stuck to his dirty fridge. Oh, no, don't eat that. No. Oh! Ugh. Did he lick each one and stick it on? Right? Oh, ugh. We've seen a lot of shit. I mean, this is a what? woman who's sleeping with him. She's got to be pretty gross, too. That's fair. Not super worried about hygiene or mental health. That's, that is, that is fair. <laughs> that could be why you're psychic. I just feel things, that's all. Why is the bartender listening? Yeah, like, get the uh, out of here. They're like, thanks for the food. So was he just saying they have a psychic connection, maybe? What sign were you born under? Ugh. Was that a, I don't even know what that was. It's British food. That's why it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> None of his lighters work? What get a new uh, light. There we oh, go. Oh. Was that, I mean, those weren't stunt boobs. It's Kim Cattrall. I would assume she's going to be naked in the movie. Oh, yeah? That's her thing? Strapped to the bike. The bike's That'd running. Freaking awesome. I was hoping she'd be strapped to it and like rock it out the window or something. Oh, jeez. You're, be... you're sick, man. I you're am. Sick. I want to see some uh, shit. Let's go. That's his girlfriend. We're taking a shower. Yes. I heard screaming. But the water got colder. You screamed because the water got colder. Uh, uh, this writing is bad. Oh! Is he trying to frame him? Is that why he got his gun out of the car? Um. Oh, he's a well, monster. That's a monster. Oh, it bleeds. You know what that means. Oh, I do. It leads. It can kill it. Oh, yep. That is a straight-up monster. That's a lot of blood. See, that's what I'm saying. This has the potential of being, like, a this way over the top. Like, awesome. You walk into a crime scene after a crime scene, it looks like this, and like, you have no idea what's going on. Yeah. It bit me! Don't, don't worry about it. Wait, she saw it? Maybe describe... It bit me. <sighs> Rutger Howard is, like, the worst of everything in this he's, movie. And he's the best. You saw him, didn't you? Your f***ing girlfriend saw it. It bit her. It bit her. Now, I say tries to talk to the child and a dog. Yeah. I feel like this is, we're missing scenes, or there was no script, <laughs> or... <laughs> they could be making this up on the fly. This is falling apart. What? He seems not concerned. Because it's a dream? He saw that, didn't he? Oh. Oh, it... Oh, it's huge. It's like, yeah, that's what wheeled in the heart. <laughs> I don't uh, understand. I don't want to fixate on that too much, but it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, he's got scars from it. Damn. Apparently he didn't get those stitched. No, he just poured the, salt in them and let it they'll just heal. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's your psychic connection. Who's supposed to be dead? All the cops came. Ambulance, everything. 
He did. He was outside. Did not know this guy was still alive. Also, he got blown out a window. Out a window and down. He's were, not okay. I think they said he was on the fourth floor or something. Really? Is that how high they were? I think maybe he. Well, he went down one or two. They, they went down. I don't okay, know how far they okay. went though. Why they drug him and then just let him wake up in a psych ward, and then go back to work? Dude, I have right? no clue. Like, this is set up more like, oh, uh, you know, a whodunit. Try to find the serial killer. Like, right. Seven did. You know, some clues, some lore. Why is he doing this thing? Learning about the villain. Learning about what he's trying to do. I don't know, dude. I think the script for Seven and this, they're pretty equal. That's right? fair. Quality-wise? That's... Does Seven even have boobs in it? Don't I don't think so. so. Don't think so. I don't think so. Bullshit. It has the DNA structure of all its victims. It has his girlfriend's DNA, so the girlfriend's going to be the monster? He got telepathically connected to it from the scratch. Yeah. So I'm assuming she is going to be now as well from the bite. Yeah, but I'm, assu- I'm I am taking a leap that since it has the DNA of everyone, it can shift into another human victim. Maybe that's why it's so big. It keeps absorbing more DNA. DNA is not that big, is it? <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, those DNA reports can be wrong, you know? Seems like it's an easy mistake to make. Like, no, it has the DNA of every single victim. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, that didn't cross-contaminate, did it? Or maybe not. Or maybe not. You know, it, it's a very specific thing that happened in the, in the testing. <laughs> or, you know, meh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you still love him as a character. <laughs> Got to do. Oh, there was that sound. It was in a ton of 90s stuff. Yep. I'll be damned. It can't be very heavy, since that's a drop ceiling. <laughs> it's got to be a rat or something. Oh, no, it. it was that. On a drop ceiling. Cool, cool place to have a fight, though. That's, oh, that's metal. Was that the sound of the metal bending? See, that's not a great sign. I don't know that uh, I'd follow that. Yeah, the bulls aren't going to do anything to that. No. We're going to get bigger guns. Take a deep breath. Relax. Smart man. It blew through a metal door. Double layered metal door. I am not chasing. Okay, this is kind of a fun idea. That his partner starts to descend into the same madness. I kind of like that. Okay. Okay. By the end, he's going to be wearing leather, smoking a cigar, pounding coffee. Oh. No, that's an assault shotgun. Fully automatic. Oh. A shotgun with a multi-barrel? Why do the cops have this shit? Exactly. Look evil. It also represents water. Hey, Stan, what the hell have you done to him? He's sounding like you. <laughs> What have you done to him? It's getting interesting again. Like, r- this is like a whole other movie. Awful supernatural being. Satan. What are you on about? When chaos reigns. They're fighting Satan? Or a demon or something? Uh, a, a Scorpio. Scorpio demon. How did this movie just become really fun? That's what I've been waiting for the whole time. Although, I have kind of enjoyed how bad the writing is, too. That always makes me laugh. What we should do is we should, like, take notes... And, uh, you know, make these mo- remake these movies, but make them good with a few changes in scripts that we, <laughs> we talk about. Also, we have to be made for like $10, which for some of them, it's a budget increase. Yeah, yeah. The problem is funding them. Yeah. It's like, hey, remember this movie that lost a ton of money in 84? <laughs> right. Nobody remembers. We want to do it again. These are the movies I do think need to be remade, though. Don't remake the thing. No. Don't remake the... Remake Split Second? So well, the, the, split, why is this called Split Second? Uh, we don't know. Anything about this movie, really? Boom! 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 Yeah! Hang on. It didn't kill him? It tied him up? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Didn't even see it. Why did it tie him up and not kill him? How did it tie him up? It has giant talons. It's very nimble. No! It's in the sofa? What? This is utter madness. Didn't sound like how I thought it would. I thought it was supposed to be a shotgun. Yeah, it's not like a laser gun. Mm, I'm not. Give me that mirror. Mm. Hang on, I'm ashing in your wounds. Yeah. Fuck. If he's there, 
Michelle's there. Hmm? Oh! Why Whoa. would you do that? I thought he was gonna pick him up by it. That was, why? Why? Where's the big guy? This is so crazy. This movie is so freaking crazy. Where's your boss? I... <sighs> this is mystifying. Who's the guy? What guy? You know it's four o'clock in the morning? We want to get to Cannon Street. Scrooged. Him? Jersey Scrooged? Yeah. He's one of the homeless guys in Scrooge. He freezes to death. Why is this scene in the movie? Why, couldn't they just go there? Like right here. From when they were opening the door in the alley mm -hmm. to here. You could just... Without this guy. Yeah. Cut it out. He's like, yeah, this is where my partner got killed. I, of course I would never forget how to get back here. <laughs> what the... It was the worst day of my life. I wouldn't say this thing thinks it's Satan. I'd say it is Satan. They are fighting Satan. They're fighting Satan. About time. How does the psychological link work in this movie? Oh, their telepathic link that we've yeah. completely forgotten about? Or the DNA of everyone? Oh no, the rat guys! Wait, I thought that was only one way in. Secret door. I thought so too. There's a big ass elevator that also goes there? Durkin! We can't kill it. We can't kill it. Durkin! What would make you think that, just from seeing dead bodies? I those were two unarmed idiots. Yeah, those guys were morons. Jill, oh, Jill's shoulders are gonna be... Her shoulders oh. are out of the socket. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. Don't break it! Don't break the surface! Don't break the surface? What the uh, does that mean? He's standing in the water already. He's already in the water, yeah. Yeah, it's a laser gun, not a shotgun. That is so depressing. This looks expensive. Yes, it does. Oh, not, not that, that. That didn't. That does not look expensive. Its claws aren't going through the metal. No, it's wrist. wrist. <laughs> There's some cool shots. Too. Yeah, I was about to say that. That was imaginative. Oh no, it's Satan. Damn, Satan is. Huge. This, the costume so far looks pretty interesting. Yeah, with those talons, how did it tie that, the cop up? Why is it caressing him? Get out of there! <sighs> nice timing. The quips. While there's a grenade at your feet. Yeah. Well, they had to get out in a split second. <laughs> hey. Were they making out? I, yes. Yes, they are. While they're murdering Satan. <laughs> what? Shouldn't you wait till Satan's dead? Uh, yes. <clears throat> Relax, pal. It's Venom. It is Venom. What? He said, when? Duncan! Thank God Satan just hung out in there. Yeah, he's like, Jack shit. Alright, that was pretty good. Oh my god, it's Venom. I wish we could get like a long shot of it. It probably looks awful. No, no, it doesn't look bad. Oh! Better than Beezlebub. He punched through its chest? Yeah. How is he stronger than it? Did he just punch through Satan? Do you understand what's happening? Yeah, he pulled Satan's heart out of his chest. So you can take a bite out of it? <laughs> oh. Sweet dreams. It withstood the gunfire, the grenade, the electricity, mm -hmm. but he was able to punch through its chest. Yeah. What's left? And did they solve global warming? And, uh, it's not Satan, Satan version two is coming up from hell or something. Has me in a spell. 
that apparently. subway train and additional sequences. That might be why we didn't really understand the action with the, <sighs> the chest grabbing. Yeah. There's a different director for the end of the movie. What the hell did we just watch? Brian was split second. So bad it's good. Wow, this was uh, this was a roller coaster of a movie. Like it had some high highs, it had some really low lows, some boring parts. Oh <sighs> Jesus! Oh, it's right up there. on me. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, I can't like really strongly recommend it. It just barely passed for me. Uh, just because I, I don't think I appreciate the bad writing as much as oh, I love you it. do. I love it. Uh, to me, I, I need I need something that's entertaining or, or flashy, like a popcorn movie for these things. Um, but it made it because there were some really wacky parts. If you're sitting with people who love bad movies, you're going to talk about this and how it's awful. And that's the fun of it. So I like this. I like this quite a bit, but I like bad writing. Yeah. Like this, if I'm trying to watch a good movie, the bad writing drives me crazy. But in this, just trying to figure out what was happening in any given moment or why people were doing the things they were doing. Even, we finally saw Satan. That's literally Satan. Yeah, it's the devil. It, it, oh, there you can see. Is Satan wearing a visor? Uh, motorcycle helmet visor. It, it looks like Venom wearing a visor. I think that was the prop used, yep. This was, this had really cool imagery, and it, mm -hmm. the writing was so bad. It was amazing. I quite enjoyed this. And that was the thing, like... Sets were amazing. The soundtrack was, you know, fitting. The, There's money in this. The acting was fine. Uh, you know, it was everything was solid, and that's why I'm like, ah, is it bad? Is it not? But the it's, writing, the writing makes it pretty bad. The story was insane, but it looks pretty good. I, yeah, it's it's a fun movie. Oh, I thought he was locked up. He was. I think they does he lock himself up every night? <laughs> like what I, the hell? I assume he was like in some kind of cage for everyone's protection. He's like a werewolf. <laughs> At night, he just locks himself up. Needs his chocolate and his coffee. 